Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Cancer? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I wanna wish you guys the very best of this month. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September. Now we're starting off here with the Two of Swords, the Seven of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the Justice card, Six of Swords, Four of Wands, the Tower, Seven of Swords, the Devil card, and the Eight of Swords. Okay. All right. Whoa, what's going on, Cancers? There is a situation where you're not having a lot of clarity. There's a bit of confusion going on. Uh, this could be in regards to a relationship for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship. Um, what I'm hearing is there are things that have been going on behind the scenes that you've been unaware of. And I feel that for the month of September, a lot of this these things are going to be coming out to the open. Um, and really challenging your partnership or your relationship. Um, there is almost like a feeling of some type of deception going on. I don't necessarily sense that it has to do with um, third party type of energy. I feel that this has something to do with uh, finances. So it could be, you know, a being deceived or, or, or a deception, um, something that perhaps your partner hasn't felt comfortable enough to share with you. Um, this could be that, you, you know, as simplistic as you thinking that you guys have a certain amount saved up and it could have been that um, they kind of had to go into those, uh, into that, you know, safety net because there was an unexpected expense that they had to take care of. But on the grander scale, it could be that, you know, you're starting to see certain things about your partnership um, where you're kind of questioning is it, are you the one that's giving too much into this relationship? Like I said, it could be financial, um, but it can also be uh, being the one to constantly sacrifice or being the one that is constantly uh, having to put, you know, basically put the, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of being the one that faces the world and your partner extremely relying on that. Um, because we do have here the devil with the seven of swords. So this is an indication to me of complete deception. Um, and it's almost like unexpected because we do have the tower card here. Um, it could be finding out that your partner, uh, you know, has been spending money or overly spending because they have some type of addiction, something that, like I said, was hidden from you. You weren't aware of it. Um, and it's coming to the forefront. Uh, it could be that they themselves open up to you and ask for help. Um, it's heavy energy here. But again, I feel that the structure of the connection or relationship itself is going to be questioned. It's going to um, almost like, can we move on from this? Can we um, try to fix it together or is it to the point where you kind of feel like the person has gone um a little bit far out and there's really you know like i said that there's almost this feeling that i'm sensing for some of you cancers out there that you're gonna challenge i feel september is gonna really challenge you in regards to do you want to continue putting effort in those relationships where it's you the one that constantly has to either sacrifice or has to go above and beyond for the for the people because they themselves can rely on themselves that type of energy and i also feel that there is almost like um being awakened being able to see really past the illusion because we have the justice card so in whatever situation comes up for you guys in the month of September that really challenges you. Uh, it, like I said, it could challenge in regards to the relationship itself, the dynamic 
in the relationship. There's certain things that need to change where perhaps in the past we kind of swept it under the rug. There's no sweeping this under the rug because it's coming to the forefront and we have to address it. So I feel that for this month of September, it may be challenging in that aspect if you feel at any point, Cancer, that you are overwhelmed and don't know necessarily what decision to make, my advice for you guys is to take a step back to really analyze and to figure out, you know, when do you get to the point of putting too much effort? Um, and the reason I say that is because we do have the devil here with the seven of swords and the nine of swords. So this is speaking to me directly about an energy of the victim mentality. So this could be the type of person you're dealing with, that they do their shenanigans, they do their shit, they get caught up, and then they try to flip the role, trying to make you feel responsible because of what they're going through, or make up excuses of why they've done whatever it is that they're doing. For some of you guys, like I said, it could be as simplistic as them having to go into the savings because there is an unexpected expense that they have to deal with and didn't feel comfortable telling you about it. For others of you, it could be on a grander scale. It could be finding out that your partner all this time has some type of addiction, some type of problem. Um, for others of you, it can even be, like I said, that your marriage itself is going to be challenged. It's like, it's certain things that they've kept hidden and, and I feel very strongly that it goes to the past. So for some of you guys, it could be, you know, uh, finding out that the person, you know, stepped out of the marriage a few years back. You know what I mean? And, and what do you do with that? Do you move on from it because it was a long time ago? Or do you, are you, do you, what's the word I'm looking for? Or are you capable of overlooking that? Um, or are you not? Are you not able to overlook that because they never came to you? Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel you guys are definitely going to be challenged here. But on the grander scale of things, I feel that there's a lot of clarity that comes to you. There is a lot of even knowing exactly what it is that, you know, kind of teaching you a part of yourself what you're capable of putting up with and what you're not capable of putting up with. And I think that's a blessing in itself because you are getting to the point of understanding what is not going to slide no more, what you're not going to be putting up with anymore. Um, so again, uh, for some of you guys, this can even be in regards to the family. It could be finding out that your father or your mother, um, you know, has been doing things that you've seen them a certain way um, but then you find out or, or things start to come out to the open that they've been deceiving or, or, or lying um, and your perspective of them, of them changes. And it, it's I feel that it's it's going to be challenging in the sense of boundaries. This is really going to test your boundaries. And I feel that sometimes those lessons come very harshly. But I feel that at the same time, it's a blessing because sometimes we got to cut the link. You know what I mean? So I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight. Be strong, Cancer. And like I said, if you feel overwhelmed or if you feel like you're under pressure having to make a decision, take a step back. You know, try to internalize what's going on. Don't make irrational decisions. Um, be smart about it. All right, my lovelies? I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.